Hi everyone, welcome to Kremlin 2 News First at 4. I'm Jane McCarthy. Yes, thanks for joining us. I'm Tom Sherry. Well, this morning, 25 new tents have popped up outside Spokane City Hall. It's a demand for city leaders to open more warming shelters. As Kremlin 2's Manaroli reports, the people occupying those tents say they won't leave until those shelters are up and running. About a dozen brand new tents are set up here outside of the Spokane City Hall. I'm told community members made a donation to these efforts and that money was taken to the general store. After hearing about their efforts, the general store offered to sell these brand new tents at half the regular price. I put out a call on Facebook that we needed tents desperately because people were out here, they were getting wet, they were getting cold. In our Facebook Live outside City Hall this morning, I talked to Alfredo Yamedo, who purchased the tents from the general store. And they stepped up to the plate and provided these at half price. You may remember him from a few weeks ago. Yamedo went on a hunger strike and sat outside City Hall until City Council agreed to repeal or suspend the sit and lie ordinance. The city ended up suspending the ordinance until 30 days after 200 additional warming shelter beds are made available. But Yamato says people are still camped outside City Hall today because their work here isn't done. Until they open up shelters, folks are going to be here. We're going to continue to take care of them. And by we, I mean this community. City Communication Director Marlene Feist says two weeks ago, the city approved contracts for about 70 beds for women and families. On Monday, City Council approved another contract for 40 additional beds for men downtown. That will open on Saturday. Tomorrow, city leaders meet for a work session at 3.30 p.m. to discuss another warming shelter contract. This will create 50 or more beds for men and near the total of 200 additional beds that have no religious requirement. It's my hope they announce, you know, hey, we're opening up, then people can go elsewhere. Several people I spoke with who are using these tents here today say they do plan to pack up and leave once all additional beds at warming shelters are open. Reporting from City Hall, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.